Hello everybody, so let's see today how we can use a village like this, which is full of buildings and quite complex, which has a huge landscape and all vegetation, and how we can do two things, optimize the level and use all the buildings of this level. As you can see in this level, the buildings are not uh, grouped, uh, they are all made uh, mesh by mesh, so it's, uh, uh, you say, I want to use this for uh, my own level, so how can I grab the entire castle here and uh, uh, move it and put it in my level? It's quite uh, difficult, you need to select all the pieces uh, and group it, but it's really hard to grab all them uh, and be sure that you have all the full castle. So um, this is one one um, thing we will see, and the same for uh, for all these houses and uh, the church and the castle up here. The other thing is that this level, as I said, is not really optimized, so will go very slow in the game, because if you see the nanite, the landscape is not nanite, and also the vegetation is not nanite. Uh, so these are two problems. You can see the FPS up here, um, so this is the full level is 20, so it's very very low. <coughs> so how we can do this? I tried to uh, enable the, the landscape nanite, but it crashed my Unreal Engine, so this is a big problem. So perhaps this uh, landscape uh, and uh, is, too, is too complex for this operation with this version of Unreal Engine. I'm using the, the last one, the 5.3. Mm, so let's see these two things. How to uh, in optimize the level and how to uh, grab these buildings and make one unique static mesh from this and all the other buildings to use in my level. Um, what I do uh, is really, really a step-by-step -step process. I copy this level into a new level, which I already done. It's just a copy, so you but you duplicate the level and you have the same level here where I can work uh, over. When I have uh, the level, let me, okay, now I have the level here, so let me uh, close this. We, okay, I have the level here, so uh, what I do is basically I cancel all the part of the level I don't need. Uh, except the meshes, the the buildings I want to to isolate and to group. Uh, so I really go very fast on this. I cancel the the landscape. I cancel here the water plane. I cancel. Uh, I go here in the folder which I already uh, isolated here. I cancel all these, uh, the archers, the blocking, the cameras. All these parts, these effects here I don't need. I cancel all the catapults I put on the, these are the blueprints I put on the, the castles. Also the light I can cancel because I have the, um, the ultra dynamic sky, so I cancel all of these. Because in my developer uh, folder up here I have uh, my blueprints, the, the player, the blueprint, the dragon and the ultra dynamic sky, which they don't need any light, they do the light on their own. So I'm cancelling everything here, also these, everything. So all these folders here I don't need anymore. I'm cancelling everything. And I want just also this, I want to remove it, and also this. Okay, let me see on the foliage part here. Okay, there isn't anything. Perfect. This is the um, this is the level I want. So I want the level like this with only the meshes. Now you see the FPS is 120. So this is optimized. Only the meshes with the um, nanite. I'm, I know that they're all nanites. So you see how is fast now the level. So now let's see the the part where I want to grab this castle here and I want to do a unique mesh. But I don't want to stay all day selecting piece by piece. It's, it's too, it's too um, difficult and it's too, uh, it, it requires too much time. So 
what I do here is I create some space around the, the building I want to isolate. Let me cancel also this. And <coughs> let me also save this level like this. And um, what you do to select all the castle in one shot, you go in the top view. In the top view, you can do all the selection li like this, like uh, you have a, uh, a CAD uh, program, Blender or uh, 3D Studio, whatever. You just do like this. Boom. Now you have all the castles selected and uh, this is uh, possible only in top view or uh, in uh, bottom view, in front and uh, right view. No, because if you select, you select, you select all the buildings. So it's, it's not, uh, uh, it's not, uh, you see, you select all this part here. So it's not good. So just top or bottom view. You do like this, you select. Now you go in tools merge actors this one and here you have just the um, the meshes you have selected uh, you see one thing that i selected also the ultra dynamic sky which i don't want here so you have just the meshes so only static meshes you don't want the ultra dynamic sky now i do like this i merge actors I call this castle one and it's very quickly and you see here in the uh, in the folder here in the content folder I have already now I put back the perspective view so this is the old castle this is the new castle this one so you have one single mesh in very uh, step by step you see very quickly you have the mesh this mesh uh, um, there are two things to check one is if the collision are still the same so you go in, in simple collision and you see when when you do the merge the collision are replicated so it's really good it's optimized you can walk around here and the collision simple collision not complex simple collision replicated so this is good. The other thing to check is if it is nanite. So it's not nanite, so you, we want uh, to make it nanite. So because we want, of course, the, the mesh to be as, as lighter as possible to improve the FPS of the game. So now it's nanite. OK. You can see from here now the mesh. Uh, okay, let, let's put it directly in the game so you see it from the game. I close the merge here. I close this. I save the castle like this. And now you see I grab this and you have the castle here. Let me put it like this. So this is the full castle, it's exactly the same as this, but this is all made in pieces. This is the full castle like this. And it is already nanite because if I go here, it's nanite. So exactly the same, but one mesh and you move it where you want. So now I will do the same for all the other beatings. I will pause the video and I will do the same for all the other beatings. And then we will uh, uh, go to see the landscape part. You can see I isolated all the meshes of the level. So now I have uh, all my uh, my buildings here i have uh, uh, the castle and i really uh, got isolated the full uh, castle here the huge castle and is all nanite and also the the bridges and also isolated the, uh, in one single mesh all the factories so i don't want to spend time to put all these small objects here uh, all these uh, this stuff here so i really uh, get all these i merge i set all nanite perhaps there are some parts that are under the ground but i will set the landscape in order to to be able to adjust this and uh, managing a landscape with nanite settings i got this landscape which is different from the initial one and uh, i set this landscape as nanite so you can see 
here. This is completely nanite. Inside this landscape you can see there is also some vegetation and some rocks here. It's all nanite. Inside this landscape I set the meshes, the building meshes that I previously um, created from the other level. So you see I've got this uh, uh, factory here and uh, then I got the church here and then also the, uh, the big castle here. I just uh, um, adjusted something uh, on the on the landscape to make it flat in order to place this, but really is all one big uh, static mesh that I put inside. And uh, when I place the the player here, I show you that you can also go inside the houses and uh, go around, and it's all perfectly uh, working with the collisions. Here you can enter and you see it's all perfectly working with the collisions. Let's get the. I can change the visual here, and now let's get the dragon, and let's go and let's go around. I can play here with the focus of the camera. You see the distance from the player to the dragon. place my building here and you see all the the collision are working fine. And also in the church here, everything is, is working fine. And start making all the, the construction I want. So very simple, very quick to, to create and I can start for example shooting from here or I can start uh, I can go down and here I can start running on this bridge and, and so on so I'm running under the bridge and so on so this is it important at the end of the 
of the work everything has got to be nanite as you can see which means that during the game it will have good performances Thank <laughs> you.